Welcome to another episode of Inspire, a Black History Month series here at WNBF News. I'm your host, Darion Henderson. For this episode, we decided to come down here to Community Kitchen of Myrtle Beach. Our girl, Michaela Evans, told me about a lady inside of the kitchen who's inspiring so many people, but she has the game on lock inside of the kitchen. <laughs> so we had to bring her on for this episode of Inspire and highlight her for Black History Month. So without further ado, let's welcome Mrs. Lisa Green Skyer. Thank you. 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 Thank you for the inspiration, yes. all of you. Yes. Also, welcome Michaela Evans, yes, too. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Because Lisa is great, so I'm excited Thank for you. this conversation. I am Thank so you. excited for it as well, Miss Lisa. Mm. I've heard Me so too. much about <laughs> you. Listen, before we got started, you were all all over this place. Everyone knows your name in here. Uh, so let's just start talking about Community Kitchen. You know, when you look up Community Kitchen, when I was looking it up, I want to know more about it. You mm -hmm. know, you learn so much about it being here for more than 27 years. That's right. Uh, you talk about serving the poor, vets, uh, families, children, everyone, yes. honestly. Um, and you served hundreds of thousands of people as well. Absolutely. That's what it is on the surface. Right. But when you look at it, what do you see? I see the community coming to the best restaurant in Myrtle Beach. That's what I see. And I see the happiness on their faces. And I can see their tummies are smiling. <laughs> and I'm just ecstatic. They are, are extremely happy. We have um, some people think of this as a ministry as well. Um, uh, the closeness because I say that prayer before we eat and um, I'm just in love for what I do. It's overjoyed by it. Yes, I am. You gotta love it. So when you're inside of the kitchen and you're getting everything done, I'm pretty sure everything is made with love, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> now let me say what I'm thinking. <laughs> yes, yes. With love, with love. Uh, and we have a saying back in the day, you know what that is. What is what it? Is it? Can I say it? Yes, go ahead. Put our feet in it. Yes. <laughs> Put a full oh, foot yeah. in the pot. That is it. I might find it. a toe. The whole big toe. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. ten toes. Yeah. Yeah. I know, that's right. Yes, yes, yes. That's why, I, that's why I, if it's not the way I would do at home, it's not served. Yeah. Standards up here. Yeah. That's the way it's got to be. So when you talk about like it being like the best place for food, I know, Michaela, you love some food, right? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, do. I keep telling her, come, you know where to come, girl. Yeah. What's one of your favorite dishes to make back there? I think curry chicken. Curry chicken. Ooh. Yes. Potatoes. Oh, <laughs> you better <laughs> believe it. Yeah, yeah. You got to come back They with love it, too. Chicken. What about some uh, jerk chicken? I work, I work jerk chicken okay. too. All right. I now, work chicken. Don't tell me with a good time, Miss Lisa. All right. Well, <laughs> well tickle your stomach so yeah. you have you smiling all day. Yeah. 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 So, you're the, so you're the boss of the kitchen, right? You know, I you imagine. make sure everything is good. What's your approach? Is it, is it you know, is it, is it like a, everybody just calm down, let's just get this done? Or are you more like, you know, you do this, you do this, you do this, so we can all come together and get this done? I'm a believer in autonomy. Okay. So once I give you instruction, I lean back. If I see you make a mistake, I'll come, but I don't micromanage. I want them to feel like they're following my recipes and it's up to the standard because I'm tasting everything. Nothing's <laughs> going out. Finger and everything. Yeah. Nothing's going out without my approval. But once I do like this and taste, and keep walking, they know they've done that thing right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So that's the way I do. I know initially, I don't let anybody come in here blind and don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So there's always an instruction, even if you come in with experience. Gotcha. I'm like, okay, this is the way I like things, or whatever. Once you know the recipe, then you could do your thing, as long as the flavor is there, yeah. the way I um, expect it to be. Yeah. Way back, but crack the whip when you need exactly. to. Exactly. Yeah. In a quiet way. In a quiet way. Where don't make the whip noise. <laughs> so what's Absolutely. the look? What's, what, what's the look you give them when it's not right? That's, that's, that's what I want to know. The, the smile's is not it? there. Is that the eye? <laughs> yeah. uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't. 
I said, so important to keep the egos intact. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And it's also important to get your flavors on. And if it's not up to par, I'm just going to tell you. Gotcha. You have to. So it's nothing non No, you got to have add salt or sugar or pepper or whatever it is, garlic. Mm -hmm. That's not tasting properly. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to tell you. All the season. Well, how long have you been cooking? Forever. I mean, I'm in my 50s and I've been on my own since I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. And my mother can cook her, you know what, off too. Mm -hmm. So I take a little from her, my own imagination, and then you end up with a masterpiece. Because she could cook, mm -hmm. she could burn, as they say. Yeah. Is that where you found your love for being in the kitchen from your mom, your, your inspiration? Perhaps. I'm not quite sure where I got it from. I love to cook. Yeah. I just always have that passion, you know, my uh, number one passion is nursing. It's a funny story how I got in here. You would never yeah. believe. Tell me about yeah. it. You want to know? Yes, Definitely. yes, tell me about it. Okay, so when I left New York, that's where I practiced nursing and came here, I took a little time off, a little sabbatical. Yeah. And then I decided to go back for my master's. When I did that, I originally was attending Columbia University, and all their rules changed. It's been a while. So I switched to Mercy. When I switched to Mercy, the same chronology wasn't there. I had to pick up community health, whereas when I was at Columbia, I didn't need it. They said I had enough nursing experience, so why take that course when it's just gonna be pretty much redundant? So, when I was looking for um, an outlet for the community health, I couldn't get into the colleges. Mm. They needed a a, a contract with somebody like for me to come in and say oh I need a community help it was like you have to do a contract with your school and that took a long time so this like thing coming in with experience. The, I, chicka, 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 up here yeah and I was like wait a minute nursing is not just hospital and clinic and there's a broad spectrum covering health care what happened to hunger who's researching that so I wrote a thesis on hunger, wow. but I had to find a place. Now that was, long story short, I ended up at Low Country Food Bank, but I was short on my hours. I live right up the street of 48th. Mm -hmm. So I'm, let me look, let me Google, let me find out. Lo and behold, the kitchen was here. Right down the street. So yeah, so I put my proposal, Deacon Peter was here at the time. He's not here anymore, but I, asked him, can I please do my other 20 hours here? He was like, absolutely, and I'm still here. Is that something? Never left. Never left. <laughs> no, I told him for sure, even when they asked me to stay on, I was like, nutrition, I've always loved nutrition. I always loved to cook. Mm -hmm. Why not? But I said, well, when I finish my master's, I'm probably going to go back to nursing. I'm still here. <laughs> So six years later, can you believe that? And yeah. you had to work your way up to manager, I assume. No. You started as manager. Yeah, you started. I, started, I started, started as assistant manager, and then within a month, I became the manager. She started as That's that girl. That's yeah, right. She was that girl from the beginning. Walk through the door. Yeah, I think Father put me here. That's a blessing. Yes, he did. He That's did. a blessing. And I love um, how you say, you know, you found a different way to do your passion. Absolutely. You found another another, I don't know, mindset yes. to still do what you love to do, which is help people. Yes. You know, um, and that takes a lot, I feel as if, like taking a step back from yourself and taking a step back even from your own goals to see where the world and where, and, 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 and where God has taken you personally to get to where Absolutely. you need to go, right? I really and truly believe that because I save lives in here yeah. all the time. I mean that literally. I mean, we've had chokers, we have used the Heimlich, I've used CPR. I've had a chance to really kind of get a taste of everything and still do my love, what I love, which is cook. I love to cook. Mm -hmm. I love to hear it. This tastes good. I love to hear that stuff. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> and I'll be honest, I'm now, sure we, you've that a yeah. lot. <laughs> we walked in at the end of lunch, but people were getting their grub on around here. Now. I almost yes, was like, go ahead, grab me a plate. I'm, 
I'm, I'm one to grab food. I had to restrain myself. <laughs> that salad was looking good mm -hmm. and the fruit back there. I was like, oh, yeah. Fine. You know, I love me the a foot's poop, in though. everything. <laughs> it's in everything. And we had barbecue chicken today. Ooh. Yes. We should have came earlier. <laughs> we definitely, definitely should have. So when you talk about being in there, you say you've been there for what, like six years, more than, more than yeah, six years Yeah, every six now? years in December. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure a lot has happened back in that kitchen now. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's put it though. I don't know. The PG version, was, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Miss <laughs> Lisa has some stories to get tell. PG Thirteen, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Not okay. quite for kids, but like appropriate kids, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, but what's one of the funnier stories that's happened back there in the kitchen? Where like maybe you like even still today, think back on it and just die laughing about it. See, funny to me may not be funny to okay. the next. <laughs> <laughs> we'll laugh anyway. That's what I'm, oh, please do. <laughs> And it makes me feel better. <laughs> okay, so we have in the kitchen all volunteers. Uh -huh. We have a particular volunteer that wherever he goes, he brings his plate. And people can follow him by the plate. Okay. I bet you if I go in there right now, I can find a plate of his <laughs> open because he doesn't want to throw it and he doesn't want to put it away. He just goes back and eat it, puts it down goes back and eat it and put it down. And everybody would say, can I say the name? Bill! Because <laughs> they know it's him. Yeah. Whether it's a cup or whatever, whatever. And I, I find that, that that's got to be the funniest thing. Yeah. It's got to be the funniest <laughs> thing. Track Bill by yeah. the Yeah. And when it comes to, um, let me see. The other funny thing, I even took a picture of it, when we had a mountain of asparagus. Um, when I say a mountain, mountain, it was from one end, one end to the next, this high, asparagus. Out of it was all like, things. It was, it was funny because everybody was just staring at it. They didn't say a no word. They was <laughs> like, what are we going to do with all this asparagus? All right. We're going to cook some of it, right? Have to. And, and we're going to give some away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are funny times. I, I think yeah. sometimes we can't get in the back door there with yeah. so much delivery, and that's all a blessing. We stay prayed up around here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Where do a lot of the food come from from here? Is it through donations? Yeah, it's all donations, personal. People come just drive up to the back door. Mm -hmm. But we are connected. Low Country Food Bank is still our sponsor. Okay. And we have Costco. We have um, Publix, both of them. Mm-hmm. And Walmart, yeah. we have all of them. Yeah. I think the only one we used to have Sam's, but I don't, I'm not sure why they fell off the wagon. But we don't have them anymore. Yeah. I know when I talk to young journalists like Michaela and a lot of the other young journalists at WNBF, I always tell them, uh, I always preach. I guess I'll say. Yes. To, right. to, not in a bad way. Yeah, not, not, not the bad way. Yes, not the bad yes. way. Not the bad Good way. Good preaching. But I always preach to be a forever student. You know, okay. There's always a way to something learn. to learn. You know, you are never at a point of wherever in your career where you can't learn something. I know that's right. You know, so, and I know, and I feel like the vibe coming off of you, yes, you're the same yes. way, right? Even as manager being here and walking in the dough as the manager. <laughs> <laughs> What's one of the biggest lessons that you've learned since being in the kitchen here? A lesson. I would say... I wouldn't say I learned it, but I was able to practice it more. Yeah. Patience. Mm -hmm. Needed. And um, if there is a volunteer that has an idea, I totally, totally suck that up. Yeah. If it's good, it's good. I'm going to use it. I'm not going to just take that in. But if it's not, I still say that was a good idea because it's the right thing to do keep them giving you more ideas, right? Yeah. But, um, and when I say ideas, I'm talking about if I'm making um, a pasta salad. And someone say, oh, you ever tried raisins in there? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's an idea. That's a, good <laughs> idea. That's a great idea, but. Oh, yeah. no, uh, oh, we could do, we could sample one, I'll get some raisins. <laughs> You get a little salsa. And let's see how let's it tastes. Put a little salt on it. <laughs> we'll put a raisin it. or two oh, in it. Oh, no. Yeah, that's what I mean by an idea. Yes. That's a good so idea. So the patience of, of, of hearing you out 
Yeah, but not I, doing listen, what you said. <laughs> no, I will do it if it. Yeah. Like I said, I mean it. If if it's an idea, it doesn't mean just because it sounds weird. Yeah. Doesn't mean it don't taste good. Yeah. True. Very true. So I would take a couple of raisins. Yeah. I mean that was just a hypothetical. Yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. And try it. Say, that's not a good combination. I'm just gonna let you know. Yeah. <laughs> but it might surprise me and taste good. Right. No. Mm. Yeah. That's what I mean. And um. I think that's the beauty of, of like cooking though sometimes too. It's like sometimes, because you know, I enjoy I enjoy cooking as well. Um, that the most odd things, you know, I remember like going like to Google and like looking at some recipes and they'd be like, add this in. It's like for what? Like what yeah, is yeah, this? Yeah. What is this gonna do to this dish? And taking your taste buds over there. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's everything. Yeah. It's literally the complete like, you know, like what makes the dish the dish itself. Um, I'll be honest though. So the first time that um, I guess I was exposed to you, that I that I knew who you were, um, was during Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness! Yes, oh. it was during Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And Michaela, I guess you want to talk to us about yes. about, about it, Michaela. She did a story with you, and I remember listening to the sound bite. I was like, I love this lady, and I have never met <laughs> her a day in my life. Michaela, tell us more about and it. And I've, I've loved you since the day I oh, walked I into the you. door. <laughs> When it comes to Thanksgiving, because kind of going off what you said earlier, um, y'all do something so special for Thanksgiving. Yes, we you do. turn it into a five-star restaurant. I sure, I do. And so, just tell me a little bit about. And you just, you know, I talked to you a little bit during Thanksgiving, yes. but kind of tell me about your experience for Thanksgiving. I love it. These um, community members really like family to me. I mean it. I call them family, and before I, I pray, hey, brothers and sisters, uh, time is just time. So we turn this place with um, tablecloths, um, what you call whatever trinkets I can find. I got a gift that I did for the holiday for Christmas. Mm -hmm. I don't usually do Christmas; I just Thanksgiving. I did Christmas this year. Oh. Yes, we are closed Christmas. The only day we are closed, but I did it the day after, gotcha. with candles. Okay. And we have um, waiters, waitresses, all the volunteers that they're familiar with. I usually have like 10, 20. They're waited on. They just come and sit like you do any other restaurant. Yeah. Take your order, bring it to you. I have a maitre d' mm -hmm. that goes around, how was your meal? Yes. Everything OK? Same team. I love that. And they do too. Mm -hmm. They can't about, wait. Oh, the soul, the soulful music this year too. You said oh, that was something new you yes, added. Did they like I, it? They loved it. <laughs> <laughs> they hung around. Nobody left till it was time to close up. Cool. No one left this place, and they were grooving. Yeah. <laughs> and that's they the were essence dancing. of Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. right? And you know, I feel as if so many times. I think as just uh, really as a nation, I feel as if I guess yes. we felt ourselves moving away from the essence of Thanksgiving and being sucked into consumerism and being at the stores and everything of that nature. And I don't know, maybe it was COVID. I don't know when it happened, but like, of course, now stores are not open on Thanksgiving and we're finally getting back to that. So to hear that you made a day, I did. you know, that, 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 that people can appreciate. And not only did they appreciate it, they had a good time they too. They did. You know, it like that special. means a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and special. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And I don't even know, I can't even find the words to tell you the looks on their faces. Mm -hmm. It's hard to describe. It's just like, for me, yeah, for you, why not? Yeah. We turn it up too. Food's off the hook. <laughs> it's always off the hook. <laughs> but there, the the menu is ridiculous. I read it off during yeah. on, on TV. Yeah, I had the that. menu in my hand. I was reading off. I was like macaroni, turkey, yes, yes. sweet potatoes. And I believe I said grab me a plate. Yeah, and I'm still waiting on it. <laughs> and I knew she treated them so well, but because even before Thanksgiving, Miss Lisa tried to get me to leave with the butterball turkey. I sure did. <laughs> I had so many. Not, I was piled up with turkeys there. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness! Yeah, and I want with them, huh? yeah, yeah. I didn't take one because I didn't know how to cook a turkey. But I was like, <laughs> you deserve to have a turkey and cook it. I'll teach you one day. <laughs> yes, let's well, come back. Yeah, I'll teach you. One back day. to the base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the season, season it all right. Yeah, we'll stick to the basics. Yeah, absolutely. And like, so when we think of doing work like this, you know, volunteer work, and you know working for your community and giving back to your community. Of course, we think of all of that. We know of it to be selfless work. 
you know, right. where we take ourselves away from it. Um, but we also know sometimes we get personal joy out of that as well. So even though all the work that you do around here is, of course, selfless work, what joy do you personally get out of it? Like when you, when you, when you come out here, right? And there's maybe no one in here, but you just stand here and see what happened in that particular day. What feeling comes over you? I think for me, there's always a way to improve. So I'm, I'm looking at the day and what could I have done better that I didn't do, and I try to do it the next day. Yeah. That's what I would do. Yeah. And what about when yeah. the people are here? Because I'm kind of like my here. aunt too. Like my, my, my aunt's the type of person where she loves, like during Thanksgiving, she watches us eat. Mm -hmm. She's one of those type of people. <laughs> like she just loves watching people eat her food. I'm the same way. <laughs> You're looking for a reaction. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm looking for a reaction, but Don't I know my food face. good now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to see what faces I made when you cook for I, me. I, I listen, listen, I have Michaela over a couple of times, like, she better not do uh, uh. But, but, you know, are, are, are you one of those people, too? Are you looking out? I mean, you know your food good. You know it's yeah. tasty, but do you still look out and, like, when you see people really turn it up, does I, it make you feel good inside? It does. Yeah. It does, but remember I told you, I taste everything for her time. <laughs> she knows. I would not. So, so I know when the baby's in it before yeah, it comes yeah, out yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, knows, she yeah. knows no faces will be made. I love that. That's right. Yeah. Uh, faces of smile. I, that's the only thing I would expect. But you never know. People have different yeah, taste buds. Different taste, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. They're that's trying not to overdo anything. Yeah. Except the curry chicken. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with the curry no, chicken, huh? No, or the jerk chicken. Not at all, no. not at all. So no. we got to the inspire yes. portion yeah. of this podcast. And I would love to know, who inspires you? I'd say my mom, my mother. Mm -hmm. My mother has taught us, has taught, well, I'm the youngest of eight. So most of the time she was talking to someone else and I'm listening in. So I think she inspired me and she wore white all the time because she was in the healthcare field. That's what, one of the things that made me become a nurse. So to do this, if I have to say it, I'm going to. Chef Ramsay, I watched that show, Hell's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. I don't have a Hell's Kitchen, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it inspires me because he teaches students. Yeah. I don't have students, but I have volunteers. Yeah. And I don't know. I think it's a combination of things in here. I, I actually really parallel this to nursing. I really do. Yeah. Because I cook nutrition. I don't mm -hmm. make junk. And then I do answer health questions. Okay. So I'm in there. Like a mixed bag of Yeah, it is. It's like a good salad. Yeah. This um, kitchen, if you would have asked me this me 10 years ago, I would be like, Kitchen? Chef? Me? No. But, uh, and not because I am deterred from it. It's because I love nursing so much. I love nursing. And I love when I save a life, just like I love when people yeah. rub their bellies yeah. in a happy note. And I love what I do. And you found them at the same intersection, right. which is sometimes yes. hard. Yes. Finding your hobby. Yes. And your, and your career passion at the same intersection. Sometimes those never meet up, and you found it literally at the same intersection. That's, that's a blessing. Yes, it is. It is. And um, I have to say, too, in, this place has changed since I've been here. Yeah. It's like turned on its belly. It used to be a lot of fights and whatever. Now people are together. They clean. They're the ones who help clean this, put chairs up. Yeah. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And one person out of line. Miss Lisa's not gonna like, don't do that and the other. And they, they checking each other. Yeah. And I'm checking them out going, <laughs> you go boy, you yeah. go. Yeah, they doing it, they doing That's it. That's the culture you created, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and it's all about yeah, culture. Yeah. yeah, yeah. and um, respecting, that's at the top. It doesn't matter to me what life you come from. Every person deserves the respect. And when you see the happiness in their eyes, Nothing beats that. Nothing beats that. I'll take it. I'll go home, smile, come back and do it again the next day. And um, 
Mm. That's the beauty of it. Yeah, and I'm thinking about them right now. <laughs> <laughs> Almost drifted off. <laughs> that is a good thing. That's amazing. But Kevin, right, though, that's a good thing. Um, you're probably wondering why we wanted you on the uh, podcast as well. You know, I mean, you're a wonderful person. We're probably like, why did Michaela come calling me for this yeah. podcast? Michaela, you want to tell her why that She's we decided great. to call yeah. her for the podcast? Uh, Darren was like, who could we bring on? Who inspires you? And I was thinking, thinking, thinking. I was going through, you know, different things, different people I've spoken with since I've been here almost two years. And then all of a sudden, it was like a light bulb that clicked off. And I said, Miss Lisa. Oh. At the community kitchen. Oh. <laughs> uh, and it, Thank you, Michaela. Just like I said, from the first moment that I met you, even just watching you just really command the kitchen, but just paying attention to so much detail to make yes. sure everything was so perfect for other people That's to right. enjoy. I just truly thought that was so inspiring. And even just sitting here today, like he's like, how can you even get more inspired? <laughs> it's just, there's just so much more to you, Ms. Lisa. Like it's, like I am truly inspired by you and I'm so blessed wow. that our paths crossed. I am, wow, I'm humbled by that statement. Extremely humbled. And I'm inspired. Where can I meet Lisa at? <laughs> was wonderful. <laughs> I want to tape that. <laughs> well, good thing to say, bro. <laughs> hey, yes. What was oh, wonderful? That was great. Yes, yes. Can I hear that again? No. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna make sure we get it on tape for you okay. to run it back again. Oh, Abs oh I absolutely. love it. I love it. You're inspiring. You're very inspiring. We inspire each other. You know, do great work on WMBF. And now I get to meet this. Handsome man. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she showed her off. <laughs> wow. Getting connected. Yes, absolutely, yes. absolutely, yes. absolutely. It was a joy to have Such you on, Mrs. Here. Lisa. Thank you. Can you please tell us how we can help out? You know, I know you said everything is volunteer. We got some volunteers getting ready to bring some stuff yes. in now. Mm -hmm. Literally, for oh, yes, make, yes, make yes. sure yeah. that the refrigerator stay full. How can we help keep them full as well? Well, um, we have a website. We have a phone uh, number, but the issue, I think screen. we should go, let's go with the website. The website is um, Community Kitchen mm -hmm. of MB, one word, Community Kitchen of MB at gmail.com. So, the of MB is of Myrtle Beach. So some people are like, oh, that's a yeah. lot of words. Yeah. That's why that's there, <laughs> of MB. Because I guess they have other community kitchens where right? sure. they had the pool. Yeah. 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 So it's community kitchen of MB at gmail.com. And then when they click on that site, everything else is self explanatory. It's going to ask you, like, pretty much what are you doing here on this right. site? <laughs> <laughs> you want to donate? You yeah. want to volunteer? You can just type that in and yeah. write that in. And we appreciate all donations. Yeah, and I saw it on there. I saw literally a list of everything you all need. And uh, trust me, there's plenty of people out here, plenty of people within our community uh, that are in need and that need your help. And that's a beautiful thing. And it's great to have yes, people like Mrs. Lisa as well around here, making sure that it gets all done. Yeah. Y'all got another place too? Are you good? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving us all of them. Yeah, there's this too. Because when, yeah. the, there is, when I said at Gmail, mm -hmm. So I was just looking because, yeah, yeah, the, so yeah the, email. the email. Well, we're going to put it on we the screen anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the folks are going to have everything they need. Mrs. Lisa, thank, thank you, you so much so for much, joining Ms. us. Lisa. You are oh, truly your inspiration. We thank you so much for being here. And we also thank you as well for joining us here on Inspire, a Black History Month series here at WNBF News. If you want to watch the other episodes, head on over to WNBF YouTube channel or listen wherever you get your podcast.